Oh, a very good evening to you. It's Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Welcome, 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 I say, to one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment on this wonderful June Sunday night. So there you are. We are, of course, global and international. Lovely to have you with us. This is Scotty McClue's show number 100. <coughs> How good is that? How fantastic is that to have reached 100 Scotty McClue shows here? I have my trusty bonnet on as well, which is fantastic. Great to have you all with us. And, of course, we'll have a tremendous show tonight. Last show was absolutely brilliant. Coming out to 20,000 people watched last week. That's tremendous. That is superb. Topic for discussion tonight, my good man, is obesity. What do we do with the fat people? The fatties. So there you are. Uh, governments are very worried. Good evening, Scott. We have a good weekend. Thomas Hamilton. Dinky do, Thomas. No problem at all. Stephen Say. What's happened to your chin? Have you had a chin tuck? No, no, no. It's psoriasis. I... Uh, don't want to apologize for it, but I can do. I hope it doesn't put you off. So there you are. Uh, it's a wonderful gift from a wonderful man. But there we are. My father and my father had psoriasis as well. So I'll just have to put up with that just now. Hi, a very good evening. This is Christine Darwin. Lovely to have you with us, Christine. What a fabulous night it proves to be, I say, to have you all with us on show number 100. How amazing is that? I'm absolutely bowled over by the fact that we've been here for 100 shows and it's just growing and growing. Debbie Safar Thomas. Hi, Scotty. Body Connolly. Training from a young age rather than short-term exposure. Absolutely. So there we are. Wonderful. That's what it's all about. Great to have you all with us as well. As I say, last week was an astonishing show. So there you are. But lots and lots to talk about tonight. And so little time to do it in, as always. Sorry, I didn't real realize your psoriasis didn't mean to cause offense. You'll never, ever cause offense by that. Not a problem at all. Uh, so there we are. Got a little bit on the hands as well. You know, that sort of thing. But as I say, it's a genetic present from my darling father, who's a lovely, lovely man. Uh, good evening, says everybody. Excellent stuff. I use black soap for psoriasis, says Gillian Scott. Absolutely, Gillian. Good evening, Scotty. Happy centennial. Thank you. 100 shows. Hi, Scotty. Still working on the writing of the film. Hope all is well. God bless. Uh, God, yes, the sun's out. Show 100. Amazing. Good evening, Salsa's Neil O'Gorney. Susan Copeland Power. Hi, Scotty. Good evening, Scotty. This is Susan Forrest. And uh, Joseph Gibbons, do you remember a radio presenter called Jean Metcalf? Yes, I did. She was, uh, I think, married to Cliff Mitchell Moore. Was that right, Jean Metcalf? And uh, she used to do the um, the service broadcasting as well. So there we are. Dinky Doo, boys, says Grant. Dinky Doo, Scotty, Stephen Wearmouth. Uh, good evening, Scotty. What a milestone. 100 shows. Jean Metcalf. Yes. I remember her very, very well. Used to listen to her. Nino Verico says, hi. Hi, Nino. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty. What a brilliant evening, says Helena Innes. It is indeed, my dear lady. And it's always a brilliant evening when I know that you are around. So there you are. Nothing wrong with people carrying a few extra pounds. Yes, as long as they spend it wisely. Proper name for the soap. <coughs> After Sun, still on the march to Bannockburn yesterday, says Mike McCabe. How did it all go? John Hodgson, Scotty, shared in Great Yorkshire Radio. 100 shows. Wow. Guys, if you're ever stuck for a fabulous radio station, which you will be, because there's only a handful of really good ones about Great Yorkshire Radio. Uh, Joseph Gibbs, and she, she was, and she presented Family Favourites. That's it, Family Favourites, with my um, old colleague, who sadly no longer with us, Pat Doody. He used to do that as well. I don't know if you remember Pat Doody. You're an old charmer, Scotty. Oh, not at all, Helen. I'm just telling the truth. Nothing wrong with that. Try to get the fat people to teach the kids better, Scotty, says Brian Morrison. Had a nice day. I went to Llandidnod, uh, Wales. Really hot here in Wales. Llandridod. Llandridod. Is that right? Llandridod. There we are. I need to get my Welsh up to speed if we're going to do an international show. There's no doubt about that. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. Excellent stuff. Welcome to show number 100, folks. I cannot believe it. It's tremendous. There we are. Danielle McFarlane's watching. Come and join us, Danielle. I've got some water here. Mmm. 
Do you remember Diddy David Hamilton? Yes, I do, Joseph. Yes, Diddy David um, did a stint at Border Television. Yes, you're getting there, Scotty, says Julianne Scott. I'm working on it. Dinky doo to the top presenter, says Paul Crookshanks. I thank you, Paul, the World Stop Broadcaster, first lord of the internet, with you for one hour only. Last week, uh, 20,000 people saw the shows. You'll see it there. You can add it all up. Evening, Scotty, your show's the best. All the rest are Shogdite. Says Craig Pardy. I've never been to Shog Night. Uh, Nick Baldy, hi Scotty, looking a bit hot there, but I am. I'm absolutely roasting, but we'll just have a bit of personal care every so often. I'll just do a little bit now. And that's that. There we are. I'll just take the shine off myself. <laughs> take the shine off myself. <laughs> take the shine off myself, I say. And Mike Ravens and Joseph, yes, absolutely. These are fantastic names. Wonderful, wonderful broadcasters as well. Terrific stuff. Um, a multinational fast food restaurants promotion and profits unfortunately come before the government protecting its citizens, says Body. Scotty, what happened? Says Natalia Mathers. I don't know what happened to what, Natalia? You have to tell me a little bit more about it. That's important as well. There we go. I'll just have to keep doing the personal care. It's roasting hot in the studio here. I can put all the lights out and tip to off. Ed Stewart, Sir Joseph, yes, Ed, Ed Stewart, Stewart, fantastic. These are all wonderful names. Scotty, what happened to the radio station that was meant to be broadcasting from the St. Enoch Centre? I don't know. I never, ever heard any more about it. Uh, some lovely people involved, and it was very nice to have the offer of working with them, but I never heard any more about it. Can't really do much with fat people. You've just got to love them, says Christine Garvin. Uh, Scotty has got HD, says Simon Off. Have I got it right? Or Simon O? Simon Off. There we are. Tell me, Simon. Come on, help me out here. The BBC used to have a pronunciation unit. You could never get anything wrong. I don't know if they've still got it. Take your tie off, Scotty, to hottie, mate, says Gary Heaps. No, no, you can't take your tie off. It's a mark of respect for who I'm talking to. How am I doing, says Joseph Gibbs? You're doing fantastic. Absolutely fantastic, Joseph. There's no doubt about it. Tremendous. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome, folks. If you're wondering what's happening, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet doing his hundredth show on Facebook Live. You're doing well with the show, pal. Um, I've been diagnosed with DB. I'm sorry to hear that. It's pronounced O, oh, Scotty. Simon O. Oh. Fantastic. You're quite right. You told me that, as in Hawaii 5 oh. You told me before, Simon, and I'm sorry if I forgot it. Um, I see the photo behind you. So what did you get your degree in, Scotty? In arts? It's uh, a Bachelor of Arts degree, that one. Scotty, uh, so there you are. Um, so, yes, indeed, I know. Um, have you thought about doing your own station and uploading podcasts and apps like Stitcher, etc., like John Gaunt has done, Gaunty? Yes, I know him well. Uh, now, wrong with a fat woman, it's just annoying when you bum your bum on the light bulb. Shocking, shocking. So there you go. Um, I've been diagnosed with TB. 30 bellies, says Mike McCabe. Oh, I see you are making light, Mike. Yes, of course. Um, I uh, knew of the gentleman who cured us of TB, Sir John Crofton. So there you are, a distant relative. And I remember him saying we cured, was it 16 million people? He said nobody believed us at the time, but we did. They brought in the vaccine for tuberculosis. Marvellous stuff. What I think used to be called the thysis, is that right? The thysis, spelled with a P. So there we are, Neil Colgate joining us. I went to the shop for a bar of chocolate, I politely said to the lady. There we are, Chunky. She's oh, very good, yes, all right. Good evening, Scotty, says David Rendell. Hello, David. Lovely to have you with us. Guys, I'll try and give you a shout-out. Sir John Gilgood, not used to the spelling, says David McGurr. Gilgood, uh, David. G-I-E-L-G-U-D, a lovely man, Johnny Gilgood. So there you go. <coughs> uh, Stuart Holt is watching, and uh, marvellous stuff. John Gilgood was part of the famous Terry family. I think his aunt was the great Ellen Terry. 
So there you are. You can check all that out, folks. Uh, Gilgood, I think it was spelt. Yes, it was indeed, Simon O. Scotty, what won't you discuss in modern affairs, says Body Conley. We discuss virtually everything, Body, to be quite honest with you. No names, no pack drill, no names of businesses, and um, things like that. But uh, apart from that, it's, uh, it's open day. So absolutely, or open evening, I should say. And a very, very warm welcome. Thank you to every single one of you. Gerald Mackay. Hi, Scotty. Hi, Gerald. Uh, Scotty, can you still buy an audience with Scotty McClure, says John P. Hazelton. Um, I'm not sure if you can. Uh, I think you would probably get it reduced because it's a video that uh, we sold. I think we sold about 36,000 of these. Uh, Sterling's been in Moffat Car Show. It'll be on shortly, says David Rendell. Excellent Moffat Car Show. How wonderful. What a lovely place Moffat is. About 60 miles from Glasgow, 40 miles from Carlisle. Very, very nice. An old woman asked if I could see her across the road. I said, I don't know a watch. Somebody once asked me if uh, I could see Dumbarton Rock. And um, I stood there for hours and it never moved. <laughs> Ann Ingalls is watching Dinky Doo and lovely to have you with us. You're all watching Scotty McClue. If, if you're an alien life form from another planet, capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty the McClue. Capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. This is show number 100. I am the World Stop Broadcaster and the First Lord of the Internet. Lovely to have you with us. Craig Purdy. Uh, General Mackay says, nice. Ha ha. Hi, Scotty. In your opinion, is FM radio a dying media? Uh, only if people have actually killed it off. The media itself is outstanding. Uh, the old VHF, and um, I would say, uh, to me, FM radio is one of the greatest carriers ever. They should never, ever, ever think about switching FM radio off. Uh, hello from Short Roads and Paisley, Scotty, says Stephen McFadden. Dinky do, Stephen McFadden or McFadden? There we are. Laura Devlin, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us, Scotty McClure. If you've just joined us, we're only here until 10 o'clock sharp. So there you are. Good evening, Mr. McClure. This is David Mortimer. Ken Chavot. Hello, Ken Chavot. What a wonderful name. Um, the De Chavot. Does anybody know what the De Chavot is? So there we are. Gordon Stelling, dinky do. Uh, you remember James Quayle? Yes, I know James. He's about. He's still about. Sadly, his wife passed away a few weeks ago. But uh, a terrific character, James, a wonderful broadcaster. So there you are. And um, he should still be on our airwaves. I sat in for James one night. What a pleasure and a privilege that was on the old talk radio, right? The old talk radio. So there you go, wonderful stuff. So yes, I don't just remember James. I uh, I know him well. So there, are wonderful, wonderful man. Good evening, McClure. The Saudis have caved in, says Gordon Stirling. What are you talking about, Gordon? Let's discuss the following then, the police force and their failures. Well, look, at let's discuss the police force and their successes. That would be rather a good thing, you see. There's two sides to every story, and I know that they have had one or two difficult incidents, but it's always the negative we get reported. Uh, you know, they're trying to keep the streets fairly safe. There you are. You can't say fairer than that, unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. Now, also, Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, guys. Get on there and subscribe. You must remember Roger Phillips, Sir Joseph Gibson. I know, I know Roger. And I used to work with his brother, Jerry. There we are. Super. Mad Big McClure. Excellent stuff. The, the Saudis are allowing women drivers, says Gordon Sterling. He says it's a disgrace. Well, the women have to learn, Gordon. <clears throat> Could you imagine in this country if we banned women drivers, you know? Could you imagine if we actually banned women drivers in this country? Could you imagine the outcry? Scotty, say hello to my good friend John Lowther, who's staying with me. Hello from Lanzarote. Happy 100th, says Colin Roger. Thank you, do, Colin. Lovely to have you with us in Lanzarote. Lovely. What a wonderful part of the world. Do you think England will go all the way, says Helen Innes? I beg your pardon. Um, Joe, you mean the World Cup? Yes, 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 I'm quite sure. It's a possibility, Helena. It would be rather good, wouldn't it? When was the last time England did that? Was it 1966? Am I right? You know, you know, my knowledge of football is not extensive. So there you go. I think Jerry uh, was a sheep farmer in Keswick, says Joseph. 
Perhaps, Joseph, yes, no doubt at all. A lovely uh, man, lovely gentleman. The Phillips brothers were, were lovely, lovely people. Uh, yet another stabbing in Romford. It's getting worse, says T. Burroughs. We need to sort out the knife crime, Stephen. I wonder about some of these more violent games. Uh, Scotty, the sweat's teeming out of you. I know it is. Ex Melissa, ex Mechelier. I uh, enjoy your pop up discussion, Scotty, but to be blunt, you fold when discussion or debate arises. Not at all, Body Curly. There's no question of doing that. Uh, hi from West Yorkshire. It's just we're very, very busy on the shout outs, and it is a shout out show. Hi, can I have a shout out to my hubby Ian Boyle? Says Tracy Wilson Boyle. You certainly can, Tracy Wilson Boyle. No problem at all. Excuse me one second. Time for a little bit more of the uh, the old personal care. A lot doing with a wet flannel. <laughs> there you go. Roasting hot in the studio. That's better, isn't it? Uh, do you remember Richard Jardins and Joseph Gibbons? Yes, Joseph, we're not going to work our way through the who's who of broadcasters. I do remember them all. I know a lot of them personally, and it's lovely to hear these names, but I don't think we'll use the show to work through the whole directory of broadcasters. <laughs> McClure, are you in some dodgy sauna? Yeah, and I think somebody's just poured a lot of water in the coal there. Uh, where did you grow up, Scotty lad? Well, I haven't actually grown up yet. And I don't know what I'm going to do when I do grow up. That's the whole thing. I like your tie, pal, says Thomas Halton. A nice one, the sailing ships. Yes, you can't beat that, you know. Very, very good. A nautical tie, I say, given to me by a dear friend. So there we are. What are we going to do with all the wee illegitimate children in the UK, Scotty? Too many, uh, says Craig Purdy. Well, you can't put them back. I can tell you that for nothing. So there you are. You need a sponge, lad. Yes, a good mop down, a bit of embrocation. That's what I did. Smelling like a horse. Fantastic stuff. Uh, can I have a shout out to my girl Molly, who turned nine last week? Graham MacDonald, of course you can. Molly MacDonald, who's nine. Dinky Doo from Scotty McClue and everybody globally. So there you are. Your short-term nightly exposure prevents debate. Body Conley, it does indeed, but um, it doesn't prevent debate. It's just we have to keep it succinct. Um, I'm not a good dancer, Scotty, uh, so there. But the minute I stand in a dog poo, I can moonwalk better than Michael Jackson. I put a video of Michael Jackson moonwalking. I moonwalk myself quite often. So there we are. Uh, no windows to open, Scotty, says Christine Garvin. No, we're in the studio, Christine. You don't want to affect the sound. Beam me up, Scotty, says Scott Dixon. Ha ha! We haven't heard that one before, Scott. Turn the electric fire down a bar. You're roasting in there. I know. Three bars on in the studio, you know what I mean? I've already lost half a stone, so it's not too bad. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome, folks. You're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, with our 100th Facebook Live show. Uh, so there you are. Sorry I'm late, Scotty. Just back from Bannockburn. I got tangled up in my flag. So Sandy Howden. Ah, the old salt ire blowing around you, Sandy. Wrapping its arms around you. Scotty, remember me? Yes, I do. <coughs> top man, Scotty, is the Scott Simpson. And you, Scott Simpson, a top man yourself. Lovely to hear from you, I say. So there we are. Welcome, 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 everybody, to the Scotty McClue show number 100. And we had 20,000 people watching last week. So let's see if we can top that this week. Let's have a share. How are we doing for share time? Um, we're getting there. Are we? Are we past it? Are we past share time? I can't see from the lights. No, we're getting there. Can everybody share, 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 share. You're sweating like a glass blower's backside of John Brown. Can you please say hi to Julie McMurray, who's burnt with sunshine. John Edmondson, look after her, I say. Sunburn is not a pleasant thing at all. And particularly ladies can be a wee bit silly about it because they think being tanned makes them more attractive. News flash. All right, Scotty, your bun at Disney go with that shirt. No, no, but I wanted a wee change of colour. I normally wear a white shirt as a mark of respect for who I'm I'm looking at. So there you are. Who are you looking at? Can I get a shout out for Peter Garvin and Gareth Owens, says Christine? Absolutely, Christine. Of course you can. I'm just going on another device here, guys, to see about sharing. So there we are. A little bit of sharing won't do you any harm at all. 
And uh, share, 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 share. Thank you to again from 1066 Country. Great to join you, Scotty. Down in Hastings there. Harold's last words at the Battle of Hastings. Mind what you're doing with that. You'll have someone's eye out in a minute. Stop shouting, says Robert. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. I didn't realise I was shouting. Is it better if I go quiet? Scotty, what's the degree in the wonderful photo behind Sandy Howden? That's a Bachelor of Arts from Glasgow University, Sandy. So there you are. Uh, Robert Quinn has said, stop shouting. Shall I just talk like this? How does that sound, guys? Do tell. A little bit of feedback, because remember, we're only 100 shows up. Two and a half million people have seen our Sunday night shows. Right, and I had even good friends saying to me, oh, no, that'll never catch on, no, 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 no. Usual nonsense that you get. Shout-outs over substance, says Bodie Connolly. So there we are. Already done the sharing. Uh, you're too late, Colin Smart <laughs> Jones. There we are, very smart D. Jones. Caris Alison. How lovely are you? Charis, is it Charis? Uh, you look lovely, says Rab. Steady on, Rab. Uh, can we see more of my clues, says Christine Garvin? A bit of Robert Wilson in the box tonight. I might give you, Robert Wilson was a singer, of course, not a box player, but we'll give you a bit of, I might give you the Wells of Weary. Um, Charisse says, uh, hi, is it Charisse? Have I got it right? Rab's cracking on to you again, Scotty, says John Adams. I know we'll just keep a steady eye on him, everybody. Uh, Dinky do a bit hot tonight at McClue Towers Roasting. You sound fantastic. So there we are. So I don't need to be accused of shouting. What's it like when I just talk quietly like that? Can you still hear me? So there we are. In Pew, not seeing you for years. You're still looking good, Scotty, says Margaret Kerr. So are you, Margaret? Yes, uh, Charisse, is that right? Charisse. Henry Newton, come and join us. Charisse has waved at us. We wave back. Happy 100 shows, Scotty Dinky Doo. What is this about, says Colin Natalie Thompson? This is about the one stop broadcast on First Lord of the Internet talking internationally to everybody throughout the globe. Yes, and we might even be using it as a tester for a very, 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 very big show indeed. PMSL, oh no, what a laugh, says Charisse, or Caris, is it Caris? Kirstine, you are there. Rab, I enjoy a wee laugh, sweating like a fat kid in a cake shop, says William Wilcox. Yeah, I bet the fox is hot tonight, says Steve Burrows. He'll be lying in his burrow. They'll be in their burrows, Steve Burrows, do you get it? Charisse, PMSL, she's again, she's buckled. Charisse. So, sharing your live link, dinky do, taking Scotland back, says Henry Newton. I thank you, Henry. I'm just going on to share here. I'm on another device. So, what I'll do is, there we are, I'll share and let everybody know what's going on there. Share the post now and um, just put live. Is that right? That, that's shared. So, that should be going up there. And I'll just keep working away, guys. Just work with me. Not a problem. We'll share to a group. We'll go on to the Scott and Blue group. My missus, Charlene. I miss that. Love the passion in your voice. When you're louder, says Nick Prince. I thank you, Nick. Scotty's Sweatbox Chats. Oh, nuts, says Charisse. So, Caris, we don't know. We don't know what's happening. I'll just put that we're, uh, we're going live. We're going live. There we are. I'll just put everybody in there. We're going live. We're live now, and we'll get them uh, coming and joining us. Wonderful. Take your Scotland back. There it's there. Yes. Wonderful. More, more, more. There's lots happening, guys. It's all happening right now. Wonderful. And live video streaming, international online stations. There we are. Excellent. Right. Charisse is unique, says Charisse. I know. I've never heard it before. Whatever you do, don't lift your arms up, says John Brown. Why not, John? I might be as dry as a bone. We all love our McClure, says Christine Garvin. And I love the nation. I love the people, Christine. Very important. I can't understand politicians who can't communicate with the people. They run away from it. Scotty McClure, says Charisse Allison. Scotty with an I-E, Charisse. My Mrs. Trudy McCabe says cats rule the world. I think they probably do. Yes, I don't know. Oh, they're wonderful stuff. So the little pussy, little pussy cats there. Uh, Charisse, she's saying again, I don't know, is it Caris or Charisse? You need to tell me, is that a CH? Put an SH if it's a CH and I'll know. So there we are. And uh, Charisse is telling me, excellent, right. 
that's that. Uh, have you all shared? Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Gordon Sterling, C Scotty, can you no shove a singlet on? A singlet or a string vest? Yes, I might have one on, Gordon. That's the whole thing. Yes? Got, just doing a little bit more personal care. Well, it is the summer solstice. It's the longest day the other day. Uh, Charisse, you on the JPS page. So there we are. Um, all sorts of things on there. Uh, now, just to let you know, shared and invited, said Charisse. Excellent stuff. That's what we like. Just to keep you up to date, guys, last week, 20,000 people watched the Scotty McClure Show Facebook Live. All right. Two and a half million of you have watched it since the start. All right. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I've shared, I always do, my friends, with Gerald Mackay. So there we are. Uh, just bite the bullet and get a mankini on, Scotty. Yes, why not? Charles McLachlan's watching us. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I'm going to do some more sharing. Come on. You lot need to do the same. This is ridiculous. We should be all sharing by now, for heaven's sake. Charisse Allison, she says. She's still not told me. You look as if you're getting ready to bust. Scotty says, Billy Napier. I'm ready to pop. So there you go. I, I thought you were, says John Adams. No, we're just a little bit warm, guys. There's no need to do your nuts, right? I'm just going to share this to the Scotty McClure pages. We've got a new Scotty McClure business page. Oh, this is so funny, says Sherry. Sandy says, Scotty, I'm going over to the ceremonies in the Somme on Friday night. So, count on my song with HMFC. Good for you, Sandy. Take my blessing with you. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. But at the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Done it, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Going tonight, lads, says Stuart Davis. PMS, I'll need a commode here, says Sharice. Uh, do the robot, somebody take a commode to Sharice. You're a top man, Scotty, but less of all this shout-out stuff. Get live phone-ins with top well, we are going to take folk on. We're working on it. We're only 100 shows up, for goodness sake, and two and a half million people. So there you are. Hello, says Shazzy Shaw. I actually am the biggest thing on the internet, and I'm not just talking size-wise. Last time I spoke with you was back in the 90s. Nice to see you back, says Marie Bark. Uh, bring back the program. That's life. And put Scotty on, the top man. That'd be funny. A commode. Says Sharice, have you got one in the house, Sharice? Have you got a commode? Somebody could help. The only problem with the commode is you have to empty it. Let's see you dancing, Scotty. I'll play a wee tune in a minute, guys, and we can see what is what. Not a problem. Right, I'm just doing a share here to the Scotty McClure pages. Right, very, very important. Out to the Scotty McClure pages. Share. And uh, there we are. Uh, it comes up right post as opposed to left post. Marvellous. Right, uh, oh, I see what we've got here now. So we're going on the page, and uh, here we are. There we are, Scotty McClure Global. That's that. And uh, come on, guys, you need to be doing the same. Can't do it all myself, for goodness sake. We need the lovable lassie of the big switchboard. Wonderful, that's what we're needing, the lovable lassie of the big switchboard. And uh, I'll just do one more. There we are, excellent stuff. Uh, hello, Scotty McMahon, says Stephen Carswell. Uh, you are far off your head, says Stuart Davidson. Well, Stuart, it always takes one to know one, I say. So there we are. But I'll take that as a compliment. So there we are. We don't know what on your head actually is. I'm howling. I need an ambulance. I'm buckled. You cannot be having a chamber pot man, Scotty. Scotty, you're still doing the biz. All the best for Loch Kelly. Scotty, RIP to the fallen, but to be God, to be honest with yourself, it's not your viewers that innocent people died for established elites. Yes, I understand where you're coming from, Sandy. A bit of socialism. There, the Taft Vale Railway case, the March of the Blanketeers, the Peterloo Massacre, General Sir Douglas Haig in the First World War, Churchill, Gallipoli, all that sort of stuff. You do have a point. Yes, Sharice, you're howling. Where do you bide, Scotty, says Stuart Davidson? I bide uh, with the family. Man's not hot. I'm in Kirkcaldy, says Sharice. Oh, the Langton. The Langton of Kirkcaldy. There were a few commodes in Kirkcaldy, I think, because they're bringing the running water to a lot of the houses there. So you watch yourself. You'll love that. 
Um, I ken a boy who kens a boy who kens a boy who's faker, Cody. Uh, oh, yes, ah, says Sharice Allison. So there you are. Wonderful. See, I look after you all around here. Never a dull moment. Right, we've shared the post. Is everybody else sharing, get sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing? That's what it's all about. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that you're watching Scotty McClue. The world's top broadcaster, just for you, sitting, roasting hot, here, telling it like it is. Gus Gregg, do you ken, ken, that kens ken, says Stuart Davis, oh, you have to use a lang spoon when you're supping with the fifers. There's no doubt about that. Okay, uh, so there you are. No, 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 a dull moment, Scotty, says so Sharice. Never a dull moment, Sharice. We don't like dull moments. Excellent stuff. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering what's going on, it's Scotty McClue. Uh, good evening. Hilarious, says Robert Graham. I thank you. I'll take the smile off your face. I want you to um, get some money into Scotty McClue's PayPal. You'll see it there. Churchill was a drunken buffoon in his cabinet, covered it up, and he's vices, says Bodie Connolly. Well, I don't know about the second bit, Bodie. I don't, I've never ever seen any evidence of that, I say. But yes, he did take a light refreshment. There's no doubt about that. So there we go. He certainly took a light refreshment. And he wasn't as popular as everybody actually thought he was. I can tell you that for nothing. Gavin Scott, Bart Dinky Doo, come and join us. James Cotter's Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. Come and join us, I say. Uh, we're just working away here. Bit of sharing going on, very, very important. Uh, checking in, Mr. McLean, a broad day for it, says Douglas McPherson, depending on what it is, Douglas. Deep pocket, short arms. Got to get warmer tomorrow, says Steve Burrows. Uh, tell Ben to come, Ben. Ben Disney, come, Ben. Tell Ben, I'll be Ben to bring Ben, Ben, says Sharice. Absolutely, Sharice. Oh, Helen, never heard that about Churchill. Not sure if I believe it, says Gavin Scott Burt. I don't believe the second bit, Gavin Scott Burt, but he did take a refreshment. I believe that. I post a picture on me with Stuart Cosgrove from the 1974 World Cup, Scotty, during the week. Do that. Think you do, Scotty, lad, says Gavin Scott Burt. Lovely to have you with us. Um, so, going to pop that pluck in your nose. So that's not a pluck. That's my nose. So, there you are. Uh, so you go and pop yours, that's what I could say. Uh, Stuart Cosgrove's a legend, he is, buddy, you're absolutely right, super guy. Uh, Mark, get sharing, get sharing, share what? Says Antoine Machola Espig. So there you are, camera, how? Antoine Machola Espig. Share the program, you'll see there's a share button down at the bottom there. Get sharing. Do you can that cans, I can can. Who's Stuart Cosgrave? He does Off the Ball on BBC Radio Scotland on a Saturday afternoon with Tam Cowan. John Campbell, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one. Share again, folks. Share, 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 share. Excellent. Right. That's that. Wonderful. Now, um, who else have we got? Brilliant, says Ashley and Brendan Abram. Uh, Churchill, is that that Doug? <laughs> You're needing a refreshment, says David Randall. I've got a large one here, David, so there we are. Ooh. Can't beat a bit of double on tongues. All right, Dave. Kenny Hessel says, legend, says John Campbell. You are indeed, sir. Here's a well saying for you. Whose coat is that jacket? <laughs> Take your coat off just now, and then you'll feel the benefit of it later. Woof, woof, says Christian Allison. I thought he was the bloke that created Danger Mouse. Here's an idea. Yourself, Stuart Cosgrove, Tam Curran, and Tommy Sheridan doing a live roundtable discussion. I'd be delighted. These are all very fine broadcasters. Is that Council Pop? It is. It's Adam's Ale. That's it. What are you drinking, says Ashley and Brendan Abram. Adam's Ale. All right, Scotty. Sharice Allison is having a wee smile to herself. Dinky do. So there we are. Any more sharing going on, guys? Have we have we shared with everybody we can share with? I think we probably have just now. I'll put this down just now because it's very rude to be uh, working away on another device. Um, they wanted to ban alcohol. How bad must Churchill have been as an MP? Dundonians citing against drink. Churchill left Dundee without an appendix. 
and without a seat and without a name. So there you are. He said that um, Thompson, the publisher, only mentioned Churchill when he had to mention him. He didn't actually like him, and Churchill lost his seat in Dundee. Uh, I think he then became, I'm sure he was the um, the MP for, uh, was it Preston in Lancashire? So there you are. Uh, Give us a clue, Scotty, says Sharice. A clue for what, my darling? Right. Uh, I've nearly said to your telephones there. If you just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome. You are watching Scotty McClue. This is the world's top talk show with me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. As uh, what have we got here? Got to say the Queen looked great at Royal Ascot. Bless her, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely, Steve Burrows. No doubt about that. So there, Min Sin Yang Yin Pei and Ah. Yes, I pay if you're starving. Uh, you were brilliant on the radio, Scotty, says Mark Ellingham. Yes, I mean, we'll be back on the radio at some point, Mark, so do not panic. So there you are. Um, and I've got a superb face for the radio. Everybody agrees with that. They are. Churchill's still better than what we have now, says Alistair King. Well, he would have told you that himself, but he crossed the floor, Churchill, you know, he was a liberal, and uh, he despised the Conservative Party absolutely despised them. And then he crossed the floor. People forget all these things. Churchill was a liberal. They are Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill, born in 1874 and died in 1965. I still remember his funeral. Uh, better looking at you than listening on the radio. See you sweating, McClure, says Sharice. Oh, sweating. Yes, I mean, I'm sweating on the radio as well in a hot summer's evening because we're very, very busy. But there you are. That's the way I am. If anybody's got a problem with Scotty McClure, that's their problem. Excellent. Now, uh, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome, folks. You're shocking, shockingly, horribly, and appallingly late. We are well into the program. Can everybody share again? Share, 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 share. Thank you for the equipment, guys. A lot of your donations help to pay for this new equipment. And I think you'll agree it's a much better quality of show with it. Hello from Malta. How's Scotty? Dinky do says Billy Hunter. Billy's in Malta. If you're watching America or Australia, let us know. Churchill predicted the grass would grow over Dundee, says Mike McCabe. So there you are. He bore a bit of a grudge, Churchill, though. He didn't get on with Lord Reith at the BBC, because Reith wouldn't let him broadcast for 100 quid. Uh, Joseph in the Technicolors coat. How does he wash it out with all the colours? I think that'll be a hand wash job, to be quite honest. Me and Lindsay watching and enjoying, says George Maxwell. I've got a valid excuse. Watching at work, says Gavin Scott Burke. Yeah, you must watch Scotty McClue. It's compulsory viewing. Uh, or is it compulsive? Sharice Moore smiles there. She's enjoyed herself tonight. We do a phone in on the radio like before Scotty's and Steve Burrows. There are huge discussions going on, Steve, as I think I said to you. I can't, um, I can't be part of the moment. Hello from Rostov. God bless the Pope. So there we are. Ring it out, says Sharice Allison. Uh, please, your said wash says uh, Stephen Weirmouth. Absolutely. Yes, the wash. There's nothing wrong with that. A fine part of East Anglia. So there we are. Uh, if you're watching in Australia, New Zealand, or Canada, America, or the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan, do come on and tell us what's what. If you don't get the air con on, Scotty, you're sweating buckets with a look at your face. I am, Alistair. I think we've covered that. Thank you. I'll just... A bit more personal care. And... Um, Give myself a bit of a mock doon. Uh, it's roasting in here. You see, I think what you guys forget, even with the air con, the lights are so bright in the studio. Do you know what I mean? We've got bright lights. So there we are. Karkadi! Says Sherry Sai, Karkadi! The line tune, the fastest tune in Scotland, of course, is Nern. So there you are. That's the fastest. Uh, you need to take the bonnet off. No, no, Sharice, the bonnet must not come off because uh, McClure's a wee bit thin on the top, you see. 
There you go. I'll give you a peek, a sneaky peek. A wee bit thin on the top, so that's that. So you'll not be seeing the bonnet off tonight. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. You are watching Scotty McClure, first lord of the internet. Now, if you go to Scotty McClure's website, who gave you the ties is Remo Pisaneshi. Um, a, a dear friend of mine, Remo, chose it for me and picked it and, and brought it to me. Lovely, lovely. Sharice Allison, oh, she's laughing and laughing and laughing her head off no more. John Campbell's laughing his head off as well. So there you are. God bless Big Jock Steen. <clears throat> there we are. Uh, did you see, John, uh, what was that in the press conference? Wouldn't mess with them. Very passionate. So there we are. Gavin Scott Burke, yes, lovely. Thank you for that. Scotty ain't Scotty without the bonnet, says Alistair King. Absolutely. We go together like Markham and Wise, the bonnet and me. Uh, PMSL, oh, you on it, Scotty. No, no on it at all. Mad with the hot chocolate. Uh, you know, thin at the bottom half, very thin, Mark Allison. Solid muscle, solid muscle. So there you are, the bottom half, solid muscle, very thin. Face a little bit fuller, but very, very thin. So there we are. I have to run round in the shower to get wet. And, uh, you know, I, I make sure that the limousines never pull up near a drain, in case you don't see me again. Do you ever swear, big man, says Colin Natalie Thompson? Uh, I don't really feel the need to, to be quite honest. I have uttered the odd blinking or blooming. Uh, that's come out from time to time, but no, no, no. Big jock news, says David Arcott. Well, we're not going to that, David. Not uh, not the night for that. Uh, I think Sharice has lost it, says Gavin Scott. But, so there we are. Right, um, and what we got here, Sharice? Right, we need to watch our language. Uh, too much beer, says Joe Cunningham. Well, Joe, don't worry about it. What you should do is lay off it for a while, I say, and, um, you know, maybe have a little bit of the water. Do him a clue. There you go. You don't need to be at the beer all the time, Joe. Mark Allium, lots of laughs there. Uh, Gavin, a long time ago, pal. Ooh. Doesn't time fly? It seems like yesterday it was freezing cold outside listening to you. Yes, March, with the thick snow in March. Do women only wear makeup and perfume because they think they are ugly and smell? I don't know. I think women should lay off a lot of these chemicals because that's what makes them anxious. Now, I did say to a lady one day, I said, I hope you don't mind me saying, but, uh, you know, lay off the hairspray because that's what's making you anxious. Love the tumbler, says she. Oh, yes. Good night, pal. Have a good week. See you next Sunday. Dinky-doo. And, uh, Scotty, how's the weather back home? Are you a wee dram, says Billy? Well, I don't take the drams nowadays, Billy, but yes. Uh, very nice. Kunso juice, says Joe Cunningham. Absolutely. You can't beat the Kunso Juice, a very fine website. Some marvel stuff, and I met some of you guys. Terrific. So there we go. Um, Tartan, up the girls are, says Michael McGuigan. Tartan, you can't beat a bit of Tartan, Michael. I don't know about the McGuigan Tartan. First time I've seen this, it's brilliant, says Amanda Gemmel. How have you not seen Scotty McClure before on a Sunday night, Amanda? This is show number 100. Can everybody get sharing, guys? Share, 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 share. A blinking or a flipping, Scotty. I bet the odd ever bees slipped out. <laughs> you must be the same age as Moses by now. I am uh, the rocks that I was looking at yesterday are 350 million years old. And I was quite young when they put them in. Must be Lang Toon thing. It's all the line of fumes. I can get away with seeing that as I'm from the tune that floored the world. So there you are, the tune that floored the world. I'm thinking of doing some ur tune now, guys. So there you are. Right. Bit of housekeeping. Put some money into Scotty McClure's PayPal. You'll see it there on um, the internet. I'm needing to get some pennies in. The Scottish Highland Show. Hello, Scotty. You make us laugh, says Derek Jimmy Walker. And uh, fume signals, fume signals. Absolutely. All that sort of thing. Uh, just to let you know, 20,000 of you saw last week's show. Two and a half million of you have seen the shows since they started. And that's just on Facebook Live. We've got LinkedIn. We've 
We've got the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. What's your point in women drivers, says Rab. Uh, sorry, I lost you for a few minutes, says Nick Prince. Never ever lose McClure, Nick, or you miss a moment of life. No squeeze box tonight, Scotty. A hundred shows, we need the squeeze box. You need to get me money first, McClure. Hello, Scotty, from all of us. Uh, D Drivers, says Ralph Phillip. So they are fantastic. Now, somebody wanted a tune on the squeeze box. So here we go. I have the squeeze box with me. I'll give you a wee tune, right? And then that's your lot. <laughs> Okay, did you like that, folks? We tune in the squeeze box for you. Scotty McClure giving you a wee one there. And um, play Boys of the Old Brigade. Da ra ra dee da da rum ma ra dee dee da da rum da dee dee. Excellent. Um, oh, stop, says Mark Allingham. Why is that, Mark? Uh, What's that again? Accordion tunes. Yes. I love a squeeze. Says Christine, you can't beat a wee squeeze on the box. Well done, Scotty. This is Alistair. Not at all, Alistair. A great privilege and a pleasure. So there you are. I do notice when I'm playing, the numbers go down a little bit and then come back up again. I can see a BBC Scotland show coming soon. Scotty McLean Variety Show. Hats off, I'll tell you. Shout out for Kevin Gold. So there we are. Join the 45. Says Mike McCabe. You ever been to a place called Billinghay, Scotty? Tell me more, David Rendell, and I'll tell you if I've been there. I've been to places that uh, I didn't even know I was visiting at the time. You'd be amazed. So there we are. Uh, so there's a lady needing help, she says. <laughs> no doubt she'll get it. So there you are. And uh, who else have we got? Uh, come on, Juan. What's your opinion on Super Lager? Wouldn't touch it. Don't touch any of that stuff. So there you go. Not terribly good mixing your chemicals. So you wouldn't get me touching it. That's all I can say to you. Dinky do. Excuse me, a bit of personal care coming on. Ah, marvellous. Marvellous. Scotty McClure, show 100. Just for you, didn't you do? Have you ever been to Bathgate, Scotty? Yes, I've been to Bathgate, absolutely. I uh, used to enjoy going through there. Was that not uh, where you got the whole sausages? Lovely. Is that not Bathgate? Am I not right in Midlothian? So there we go, Midlothian in Scotland. Right, uh, let me know where you're watching around the world. We had somebody in South America there. We had somebody in Don't Hide near Spalding. Spalding in Lincolnshire. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, so there we are. The place smells of onions. Beautiful. And uh, I also passed, I'll tell you, I passed Cranwell, the old RAF college. Um, so they are, come to Kirkcaldy, I'm laughing, uh, me myself, says Derek Jimmy Walker, <laughs> yeah. well you're allowed to laugh Derek, it's not the end of the world, so there you go, Paul Smith's watching, dinky do, uh, I'm in the garb, so there we are, it's a Russian name, I can't pronounce it, how do you pronounce your name? Lennox Town, says Finn and Katie. Yes, Lennox Town, absolutely. At Lennox Castle and out to Lennox Town and the road up to the camps is there. Very, very nice. Uh, Stephen O'Neill looks like a famous uh, EastEnders actor. Uh, that's where I'm from. It's West Lothian and the Halls Factory. There we are. Yes. Have you been to Barmulloch in Scotty? Yes, of course. I know Barmulloch very well. Have you ever passed wind? Yes, but I didn't collect £200 and I didn't go to jail. So there we are. Glasgow East End, absolutely. Dunbar in East Lothian. I know it very, very well. Famous brewers in Dunbar. And the West Barnes. Do you know the West Barnes? And the John Muir Country Park. 
Uh, horse fetches and Brock's Burn, says Joe. That's right, Joe. You're absolutely right. How far is Brock's Burn from Bathgate? And then how far is Armadale from Brock's Burn? That's what we need to know. Uh, Jenna, uh, Christine, a shout out there. Can we have another share, guys? How are we doing for time? Share, 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 share. Very, very important. Humby, Humby, yes, that's right, the children's village at Humby. It's quite a dangerous corner there as you go around the corner. Edinburgh Airport, yes, indeed, when it was called Tun House, the Tun House. Not very far, not very far, not very far. Excellent stuff, so there we go. Now, uh, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster. Share, shared, everybody sharing. Come on. I'll do a bit of sharing myself. Very, very important. Tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 about Scotty McClue for you saying dinky do. St. Leonard's and C, the posh bit of Hastings. I know St. Leonard's very, very well indeed. Yes, beautiful part of the world down there. Um, a lot of old uh, Georgian townhouses in St. Leonard's. 20 minutes from Broxburn to Bathgate, 10 minutes from Bathgate to Armadale. So Joe Cunningham I wish I had a car like yours, Joe. I can tell you that for nothing. So there we are. Bit more sharing, right, guys? Come on. I can see if you've shared. So lots more of you share. Uh, Dunica Park rocks. Absolutely. I'll tell you where else I went. Now, <clears throat> where would this be? Falkirk. Beautiful big park in Falkirk. A great big old mansion. Right? So you've got to tell me which one that is. And uh, Dinky. Absolutely. Dinky do Scotty McClue. Just for you. Right? There's a share going on. Come on. Who's not shared? I can tell if you're not sharing. I can see it all here. So lots more sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. This is short number 100 tonight. Amazing stuff. Uh, I know a lot of you have heard that before, but if you've just joined us, then it's good that you can hear it tonight. Show number 100 with me, Scotty McClue, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. Uh, my cousin lives there, says Derek. We'll give your cousin a shout next time we are there, Derek. We will say hi to Derek's cousin. So there we go. Where does he actually live? Which one? In St. Leonard's or in Bathgate? In uh, Dunnaker Park. No, what's the one in Falkirk? Come on. You've got to tell me. It was, uh, it was a teacher training college, I'm quite sure. So there we are. Um, Cher is, is my sister's name, says Joe. Ah, hello, hello, Scotty from Glasgow. Billy, Billy Dilloth there. Excellent stuff. Erica Meyer, well done on your 100th show. Erica, are you still in Australia? Are you watching from down under? So there we are. Alec. So there we are. No, it wasn't Alec. What is it called? It's just slipped my mind there. Falkirk, Calendar Park. Calendar Park in Falkirk. There you are now. What about that? That just came to old McClue there. Robert Riley Dowd, Senior Dinky Do. Cali Park, the Cali Park says Forbes Willie. Yes, Forbes Willie, you're right, the Cali Park. Well done from Dysart, Sad Sadak. Ali, yes, you know the Dyson and Donald Pipe Band. My sister's called Alfred, says Thomas Hall. Alfred Hall, very nice, Alfred Hall. It might be short for Alfreda. So there we are. The Break Layers song by the Corries, wonderful. Love the Corries, love the Corries. Roy Williamson, of course, Flower of Scotland, based on the chorus of the Hebrew slaves from the opera Nabucco. Wonderful. It sort of goes, Speed your journey. Da, ra, 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 ra. And then what you've got there is, O oh, flower of Scotland. Yeah, do you see? And that's where uh, the late Roy Williamson, lovely, lovely guy, uh, an old Gordon Stonian, went to Gordonston in the northeast of Scotland there. And, of course, uh, played with Ronnie Brown, the art teacher, tremendous man. 
Ronnie is still about, as far as I know. God bless Ireland, the hills of Donegal. So there we are. You've got a Russian name. You need to put it into English for me, please. Um, sing at the floor of Scotland. I've just sung it. You're looking very warm, Scotty. I am, Paul Smith. I'm absolutely roasting. You're a good singer, man, says Sadakit Ali. I would imagine you're a very good singer, Sadakit Ali. When will you see? When will I see what? So there we are. When will I see how hot I am? You're needing to wipe those sweat lines from your coupon, Peter Dale Nevins. I shall do that right now. So there we are. Sweat lines going from my coupon. All the sweat lines away from my coupon. How about that? There you are. Um, bit more practice, Scotty, says Robert Riley down senior. What for? Do you mean on the box or the singing or whatever? My name, uh, we can't actually see your name there. I can't read that out, for goodness sake. So there we are. I don't know what that is. Uh, your lights again. When will we see? Oh, when will we see your lights again? You uh, See your like again. It's not your lights. Flower of Scotland is when will we see your like again? All right. Uh, stop hiding, sweaty Betty. Well done, big man, says Peter Dale Nevins. Not at all. Your hundredth show is the greatest yet. The others all took some beating, by the way, says Nick Prince. And he is a top, top radio man, serious broadcaster. Scotty becomes the karaoke king. He's a tune. Robert Riley Down Senior 2 says, I am a black belt in karaoke. Have you met any royals, Scotty? Yes, if you go on Scotty McClure's website, www.scotty-mcclure.com, you look at the pictures, you will see some interesting things. Uh, who even are you, says John Paul McCachney? And who even are you, John Paul McCachney? I could ask you the same question. You're John Paul McCachney, and I'm Scotty McClure. How do you do? Are you dinky do? I am the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. 40 years experience, 26 years of Scotty McClure this week. So there you are. Uh, the Russian guy says his name's Peter, says Christian. Hello, Peter, Peter the Great. Give me the roses of Prince Charlie and the piano. I'll try it. Um, I don't know if I'd be able to do it, but I could try it for you. Something like that, that sounds up. 19 Canteen Scotty. Christine Garvin, read out the Russian's name. Sound it out, and you'll see why Scotty can't say it, says Gavin. Uh, all right, Maka, says Mohammed Imran. Mohammed Imran, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and fast lord of the internet. Scotty's playing live with the organ, says Thomas Hall. You've been drinking, says Mike Griffiths. Who are you talking to, Mike? Uh, ha ha, big sweat box. Um, excellent. Do you know the Penny Arcade song, Scotty? Of course I do, Stephen McGrath. Uh, love your show on BBC, Scotty. Still loving your show on Facebook, says Peter Dale Nevins. Two and a half million people have seen it, Peter. Everybody laughed, of course, when I started doing it. Ha ha, Scotty McClure, Facebook Live. And then, of course, two and a half million people later, and 20,000 people saw last week's. You'll never walk alone, says Craig Arles. This is true, Craig. Yes, um, if you walk, um, yes, absolutely, you will never walk alone. Where are you walk? So there we are. Uh, young Deniston Monks, I don't know if it does or not. Uh, step up and play, says Stephen McGrath. Absolutely. Maybe give you a tune on the pipe organ, Stephen. Are you ready for that? Will we go for one in the pipe organ? Um, Mohammed Imran, yes, I do, mate. Absolutely. It's going so fast. Who doesn't he can? Scotty McClure. Everybody can, Scotty McClure. International star. All power to you, Scotty. You need to take on some fluids before you go on the night shift at McClure's Pies. Absolutely. We don't want a drip on the nose. Do you prefer football or rugby, Scotty? I'm a rugby man, actually. I was a tight head prop. Down first. Bang! Right in there. Yes, Scotty, right are we ready? Thank you. 
Ah, you like your toys, McClue? I believe you like yours too. Love that tune. Brilliant Scott here's a stenograph. There we are. That's the one you show. Tell them no confetti, George, and it's five quid and shut that door. It's freezing up in this organ loft. There we are. Uh, that's not nippy or anything. Love it. Brilliant. So there we are. Yes, it's nice. If anybody wants to get married, uh, just give us a shout. So there you are. Do you support the Republican movement in Ireland? So this guy. I don't, um, uh, I'm not Irish, so I'm not down there very often. But when I do go down, I go down to Clonakilty. So there you are, uh, of course. But uh, I, I like to see, I'm very, very fond of the crown. So there you are. But I'm also very, very fond of all of Ireland. So there you are. McLeod doesn't have an enemy in the world. Marvellous. Uh, play You'll Never Walk Alone. Da -da -dee 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 -dee. Did they do marriage? No, no, I believe you don't. So there we are. Ian Goldie, can't mention any brand names, of course, Ian. So there you are. But um, good to hear from you. Now, how is the time? This is show number 100. Can you believe it? Absolutely amazing. And um, it's come to an end, folks. We have to dash. But what a wonderful, wonderful program tonight. Please spend the rest of the week sharing this, right? We want to see if we can beat 20,000 for last week. That was last week's viewing figures, 20,000. Let's make this week's 50,000. So every one of you sharing. A yarn every week says inhales every single week, Ian. This is show 100, 9 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night on Facebook Live. Come and join me, Scotty McClue. Excellent stuff. Oh, dinner leave, says Sherry. She's enjoyed herself tonight. So there you are from the Lang Dune. But uh, what a wonderful, wonderful program tonight, folks. I can't thank you enough. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed being with you. And uh, we'll do it again. This is the start of something very, 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 very big. Get on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. I visited Port Glasgow the other day and did a couple of minutes on the Comet and uh, bye Scotty Dolly congrats on your 100th show says Gary Crossing good night says Peter Ewing good night to every single one of you and we'll sing the song are you ready take care Scotty says David Rendell and you David look after your dear selves until we all meet again GWWP God willing weather permitting right sing up here we go Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of wheat, of zin, au revoir, and a cheery o. And I shall play us out. <laughs> Sarah, my love, stick great care of yourselves. This is Scotty McClue saying to all of you, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClue has left the building. <laughs>